So Rory Kitty's going live right now, you can see it. And as soon as he went live, GameStop just got halted. Once he went live, AMC just took off. You could even get it. So let's listen in, see what he has to say. Roaring Kidding is making a big announcement today. I'm going to see what's going to happen to the stock. Now, what you're going to learn in this video is more or less exactly how do you follow big orders? What happens when someone actually has 600,000 people at a YouTube channel and how it actually reacts? So is the stock going to go up and go down? That's what we're going to find out. Kind of, kind of, kind of. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm looking around. I got to make, I think, they feel like it's working. As he's talking, GameStop just opened up. You can see it just spiked up from that halt, and it's starting to go back up. You can see all the time and sales going crazy. But let's get back and see what he has to say. You can see the halt right here when it happened, and when he came on, it started spiking. Buyers are coming in. It was as low as 22, and it shot up to about almost 38. So as he's talking, you can see right now, once he came out, stock came up. All these orders show up. Stock just got halted. It hit a price around 39. Water started coming in and pushed it down, and now we're gonna see where it heads up when it op opens up the halt at 35. Uh, I mean, this this is the finals, baby, to start off the series. So you... as he's talking, you can see that AMC is still trading. It did get halted. It did open up coming back down, and it dropped all the way down to about 512. Wanna, like, to as of right now, you can see there's about over 600,000 people that are watching, and you can see the chat just going crazy right now. Still waiting for GameStop to open back up because it just got halted. What's happening? Um, kind so of as he's talking, I want to let you know what just happened. So the stock is obviously ten trending down. These orders all got filled right now. A lot of selling going on. It just got halted again. Right now we're trading at thirty-one dollars. It does not look good for GameStop. He whatever he's talking about, it's kind of not making too much sense. He's just blabbering along, and that's basically what we're seeing. And people obviously not get too happy in the chat. You can see right here on level two, it's completely closed. It got halted, but AMC is still trading. It's coming up a little bit, but the trend is it's still going down. He's still talking. We're still listening to him. Not really making too much sense other than bashing the CEO of the company. Okay, GameStop should be opening up any second now. There it goes. It just opened up. And it looks like it's going a lot lower. You can see the stock is still trending lower. Time and sales going down. One little concern that we have, we just broke through major support levels. And right here, you can see there are a couple of orders that are showing up here. And you're seeing all those red balls. It's going to get halted again. When you see all these green, when you see all this time in sales, green, 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 it's going to get halted. Watch very closely. It's going down way too fast. Too many people are getting out of the position. It's going to cause a halt. Boom. Stock got halted. Next time, it's going to open up five minutes from now. Portfolio review? I've never done that on the stream before. Can I do like, can I do the portfolio reveals? Like, is that, is that okay? I, I... See, as he's talking, you can see that, we know GameStop got halted, but you can see AMC is still going down. It just popped just a very little bit. We're getting a little buyers in here, but you could probably just have some short covering. But that's, uh, I'm just reminding you all. Like, like, as he's uh, rambling, just let you know what's happening here is that the stock probably is going to come down to a low, which is right around there, around $25. Right now, we're hovering around 29.40. That's where the next biggest buyers are. We'll see how that works out. These are my the positions that the, uh, the, See, the big thing you have to understand when it comes to the trading is that he's looking at Yahoo Finance. He doesn't really know that stocks can hold it. I mean, a lot of these people don't know, depending on what account he has. But you're looking at a direct access system. This is real-time trading. This is actually what market makers are using. And we're watching orders here. But what's happening, unfortunately, a lot of these people don't see that. That's what we actually we talk a lot about as a market maker and here at Cybertrain University. See, AMC had a big, big iceberg order here when it came down, when it got last got halted up here around 570, dropped all the way down here around $5. Buyer got executed though. It is trending up a little bit, but it's still not a good sign when an order like that gets filled. He's looking to see if it's halted, but it's halted. As soon as it opened up, it got halted again immediately. Everyone, you're pretty much you're delayed, but yourself. we're live right now in the real markets. We see it actually happening it. real time. AMC is still trading as GameStop is halted. You can see there were some orders over here. We we're looking at that big order right there that got filled. You have some orders here around $6 and $5, but there's no one here, here buying it right now. Just looking at another stock, Robinhood, as he, all these stocks are trading. We're seeing how they trend. Robinhood has been having a really good move up by itself. It's trading a higher. You know, when he came on, it kind of backed off, but it's going up a little bit. But this stock, I think, is just trading on its own news. 
because of the big merger they made overseas on crypto. Yeah, now we're talking. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. It should be opening up right now in a matter of uh, 10 seconds. You can see here when it was halted, usually they do a five minute halt. We'll see what happens and see how it trends up. I'm watching AMC at the same time and see how that one was working out. So you basically see what's going to happen. Okay, we got about less than three seconds. Two, one, open. Looks like it's maybe a 10 minute halt. Longer than expected. That's not a good sign. Okay, we are open. All right, it's unhalted. All right, don't, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Don't try to, don't try to do it. All right, let me bring it over here. I think it's, I think it's fine if I bring this over. Let me check. Let me refresh. Oh, we got it. All right, I'm going to bring it over. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. So I go, all right, well, don't make me. So as he's speaking, just to show you, that order got filled right here. You got an order right here at 30. You got about 29,000, 34,000, 75,000. So you got a lot of, some buyers down here. I know there's a lot of support around 25, but like I told you, I think it's still going to probably trend down. We got to see if those orders don't get filled. You could see from uh, Kitty's account, he just lost about 160 million, but he's still up 92 million on a game. You could see from his position right here, he's got 5 million shares and 120,000. That's his average cost right there. That was the big trade right there, I thought. Um, that's probably where his last trade was at. That's how much money he's basically up and down on those positions. All the stuff, so it needs to be unhalted. I don't know why it does that, it just did. And so, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, the stock got halted. You could see it right now. GameStop got halted. Down. That could go down. It's going down. It's going down. In general. And those orders right there. You can see the halt right there. Specific to games that remember. What now, if you notice in the video a little bit more, as was showing you, Roy Kitty was a little bit late to the game. And he obviously didn't look like his normal self. And he obviously is not acting pretty normal too. So kind of made everyone a little suspicious, asking pretty in the chat, was getting pretty active. But what you'll notice is that we're going to be looking at the high frequency trades. As he's speaking and as he stepped in, you'll notice the stock had a big spike up. And then all of a sudden, iceberg orders, what we call here, are the, all those big al algorithms and those high frequency trades started coming up and running it up. But as people are listening into him, watch what ends up happening to the price of the stock and see how it's going to trend up and how it's going to trend down. But most importantly, there are other stocks like AMC that are affected by it. And that's how we're going to know what's going to happen because what you're going to notice is that some stocks are going to get halted and GameStop is going to constantly get halted over and over because it's going to be extremely volatile because the stock ended up closing over 200 million shares today. Once he finally got off, you'll notice he made that announcement. He says, okay, maybe it's time to end the stream. And then all of a sudden, the stock started really dropping. You started seeing really these sellers. But the big thing, which was very interesting, is that if you notice, as we were showing you, the stock has a lot of support levels between the $25 and $30 price range, specifically the $28 price range. Why is that? Did he have anything to do with it? Listen, there are volumes and orders that people own at that price. So you got to break those barriers of those transactions first to get there. And you could see how we showed you the ladder effect and how we call the, the, the four letter birthday cake, you know, of orders at every price level. So the big thing to take away here, fellow traders, is that you have to follow the money, okay? You could, you could add as many indicators on that to you uh, that you want, but the indicators are laggers, they're not leaders. If you want to learn how to trade like a Wall Street market maker, and I've been doing this for 30 years, one of the original day traders of the industry. Now, as I'm listening to him, I'm trying to figure out if he even knows what's going on with the stock because he's really looking at just a Yahoo Finance um, website page. But what we're looking at is direct access execution system. So we're seeing the level two quotes as they're getting halted, and we're looking at the level three, a NASDAQ book viewer and also level four of uh, book map. So there are other tools out there that some of you traders don't realize that you have access to that kind of give you a sense of what side and where's the stock pushing or not. So you're looking at a very, very high volume stock. And believe me, a lot of institutions are obviously being very aware and being alert of how they're gonna treat this stock and if they're gonna continue with it. But you gotta remember, these brokerage firms don't have billions they, some of them have almost trillions of equity to, towards them, and they can just run it as much as they want. Because what you see in GameStop, they do this in every day in all different stocks. But, by, but this is more historical because obviously between the movie and everyone been trading it and with the, with the, with the Robinhood um, brokerage firm and all that stuff, you're seeing how somebody can influence and bring such a big audience to a, you know, 
to a stock like this and seeing how it's reacting. But believe me, Wall Street is watching. Now, as he keeps rambling away, which I basically don't understand what he's really talking about other than maybe bashing the CEO a little bit, just maybe kind of reading the, reading the chat, celebrating his birthday, having a sip of beer, the stock is still kind of a little in limbo. It doesn't know if it wants to go up and go down. We're watching some of his trades. We're watching his account balance go down. But what's happening, people are like wondering, do I still hold it? Do I not hold it? Are we still holding on to it? And he's being very cautious of what he's saying because of liability purposes, which I understand. But as a professional trader and, as and some of you as a trader, um, we need to keep an eye and say, hey, listen, do we want to get into it? Do we maybe want to short it? Is this the bottom? And following and seeing those big orders out there on level four is letting us know, are they breaking those big um, high frequency trades or are they not? Now you're watching some trades as you're seeing orders just come and disappearing. There were orders out there and then they're not there anymore. You're seeing big bowls out there, which are time and sales bowls. The bigger the red bowl, that means the more selling, the more transactions are on the bid. When you see a lot of green bowls, that means there's a lot of transactions on the offer. So you've noticed that we're getting a lot more reds than greens and we're losing a lot more red lines, which means people are pulling their orders. And by the way, yes, those are real orders. But what it doesn't tell you is what we show you at Cybertrain University is about following high frequency trades, follow the algorithms, which we call iceberg orders. Because remember, it's not about winning traders. It's about controlling the losses. You got to learn how to lose before you can win. Because if you're going to do this for a long time, you're going to see things like stocks like GameStop, stocks like AMC, stocks like you know Robinhood. Um, they're there every day. But the thing is, eventually algorithms will catch up to it. And no matter what goes up, we'll come down twice as fast. So just remember, you got to learn before you can earn. So follow the money.